Hello and welcome to day 19. So today we have a powerful and peaceful Pilates routine for you and this is going to be one that we've come to before on day one and day 12 and we're going to develop it again now and for day 19. So some of it will be nice and familiar, the flow, but we'll just develop it a little bit more. So let's begin at the back of our mat and we'll just start facing to the front and just feeling that lovely standing posture. So soft knees, but long spine away from the hips. We're gonna take the right hand and just point those fingers to the side. We'll start with that lovely neck stretch. So tilting your head away from that right hand, maybe feeling that stretch through the side. We're gonna work with a nice rhythm, add a few little extra elements and exercises to the routine that you know. And then coming back up. And then the other hand is going to point to the side and we're going to tilt the head away. So try and keep both shoulders level. Breathing in, breathing out. Make sure you're just tilting that head rather than turning it. And then we'll come all the way back up. We're going to go into our squats. Just make sure you've got enough room. So we're going to lift through that body. We're going to get inhale as we squat, narrow knees, exhale, arms press back as the hips press forwards. Inhale and exhale and inhale press through the heels long toes good and we're just starting to warm up through those hips keep that lovely neutral spine and we've got last two here and then we're going to come over the legs last one come over the legs stretching them up feel those hamstrings lengthening the back of the body come back into that squat position we've got a little lift and lower gather those ribs back towards the pelvis as we come up an inch and down, push back into those heels, up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So it's slow and steady, you're gonna feel those thighs. Connecting and breathing for four, shoulders away from those ears for three, belly button to spine for two, and we're gonna come into our little kickbacks with the legs. So we're gonna come up, right leg back, both arms open the chest, breathing in. Exhale, try and get both sides facing the front as we take this lovely extension back. Breathing in as we come down, breathing out as we open up. Four more, inhale, exhale, find your balance, standing on that one leg. Last one on each side. Lift through the front, open through the chest. Good, come back into that squat. Back over, stand on the right leg, left leg behind, little reaches back. So find that balance, gather in, we reach back. Eight, seven, lift tall, six, squeeze the bottom. Three, find that length and power. Two, now we're gonna add a little extra here. One, arms come out in front, come into a little tip forwards, and then up, feeling through that supporting leg. Just six. Try not to hold the breath. Really good standing work, four more. Tipping forwards, you're still working your back. Last three, back leg soft knee of the one you're standing on. Try not to lock it out. Two more, both hips facing forwards. Finding that balance. Last one. Well done, come all the way back up, using that waist and back. Stand on that foot, back into those squats. Just nice and neutral, keeping that rhythm. Six more here, and then we'll come onto the other side. Five, hips press forwards, arms press back. Four, squeezing those glutes. Three, long spine, long neck. Two, so this time we're gonna come onto that left foot, right leg goes back, arms press back at the same time, you open through the hips, we reach eight, seven, six, five, grow tall, four, three, we've got that tip in. So bring those arms out in front and we tip. Maybe you feel that one side is a little bit more wobbly than the other or a bit more stable. Just six here. Finding that balance and that focus, four more. Eyes are really gonna help with your balance, so keeping that eye line just in front of you on the mat. Last two, so we'll be there. Good. So this is our routine that we started with. Last one, and we're just adding some things on. 
Coming back into that squat again. Arms press back. We're going to add those reaches back with those arms. Just 10, 9. Gently squeeze in between the shoulders. 8. Lengthening the spine. 7, 6, 5. Sit back, long toes. 4, 3. Navel in. 2, 1. We fold over our legs. We just feel the shoulders release towards the ears. We're going to walk up towards the front of the mat into that little halfway up, that downward stretch. Lengthen through the waist, try not to collapse, really find that energy and press. Soften the knees and just send the sit bones high as you inhale. So you're just trying to create that little bit more space, a little bit of that anterior tilt and then straighten those legs. And we'll just do that one more time, just getting into that back, the hamstrings, soft knees, send the sit bones up and then straighten in those legs. And then we're going to come into our planks. So we're going to do a little ripple, maybe bring the hands a bit further forwards. Step the feet back. We're going to ripple to our plank. So tuck your pelvis, smoothly pulling through the inner thighs, inner ankles. Lengthen out through the head. Don't drop the head. Holding that plank position, pulling up. We've got 10 hold. Nine, eight, seven. You're powerly, powerly, that's not a word, powerfully pushing them that way. Five, four, three, two, and one. We come down with those knees. So we're going to come into our eight press ups like we did. So if you want to do five, do five, do whatever you can, small or big, you've got eight, seven, but keep that Pilates mind, that alignment. Six, five, wrapping those ribs in, four, elbows back to the ribs, three, shoulders away from the ears, two, you're breathing and moving, last one, and we come back. Little stretch off the arms and wrists. We're gonna to come to all fours, we're gonna come into our glute lift. So your right leg slides back, left hip is in line, you're working your waist. We lift that leg up and down. Breathe out, breathe in. So feeling that hamstring pulling up, spreading your fingers. Imagine you're balancing that cup of tea on that back. Try not to sink in the ribs. Drawing in through those lower abs, four more. Three, imagine that leg is being pulled away, but try not to lock. Two, hold it there for one. Just hold, find length, lift and lower. Eight, seven, little lift and lower. Six, five, four, long, three, lengthen, two, and one, we hold it here. We're gonna take circles today. So we circle around with the leg. Nothing else moves. Squeezing in through those glutes. Just circle that leg. Three, two, one. Reverse, five. Maybe feeling that back and front working together. Three, two, left hip working. One, tuck the toes down onto the mat. We're coming into that plank position again. So find that connection, try not to round the back, but lift and feel, you wanna feel this like connection through the front, kind of like we're doing like a little curl up, but then the back is lifting up towards the ceiling. We step the other leg back, we're gonna come into our rocking. 10, nine, through those ankles, eight, strong upper body, seven, six, five, four, three, moving through the feet, two, and one. Well done, bring those knees down, eight press ups, eight. Do it where you have, maybe the knees come under, maybe just do five, just find that center, squeeze those elbows in. Maybe we're feeling strong, maybe we're feeling like, we just need to take it easy today. Just listen to the body, you've got four, three, two, wherever you are, Last one, we're going to do the other side. So come back into the all fours here. If you need to come onto the fists or the elbows, you can take that modification, but keep that strength. Lift and lower that back leg. Right behind your hip. Smooth with that leg. Gazing just in front of the hands. Breathe out, breathe in. Four three, two, and one. And we do little ups and downs, not the circles yet. Eight, seven, six, 
six. As it gets harder, find more center. Five, four, three, two, one. We circle five. Keep the knee pointing down. Four, three. Light through the upper body. Two, one. Squeeze the shoulders back and together. Reverse five. Hips towards the belly button. Four, three, two, and one, we're going to tuck those toes under, we're going to come back into a plank today. We're going to lift those hips all the way up, press the mat away, and then bend the knees down towards the mat. We're going to come to our high kneeling, we're going to take our little side stretch here. So press your hips under, pull up through the front of the thighs, and just feel that length through the body. Right arm is going to come up alongside the ear, and we're going to reach over to the left stretching through the side and then come up press that air down grow taller piercing your head through the crap through the ceiling reaching out pressing that arm down one more to each side enjoying that lateral stretch before we come into our mat abdominal section reaching and we've got our bridge in as well Good, so just sit back on your heels, transition around with control, just come to the middle of the mat and we're going to take our lovely extension and roll backs. So just check you're nicely set up in the middle, using your mat like a little grid, nice and even. Feet, ankles, knees in line. Arms are going to come out, we're going to draw the belly in, keep trying to pierce that head up towards the ceiling. Then as you breathe in, arms are going to open and you're going to shine your chest towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, you're going to gather the arms, roll it back, maybe keep it small to start with. Try and think of tucking and rotating that pelvis towards you. Come up as we breathe in through the center and the arms come out, lift the chest. And again, find that C curve, that elongated C curve, gather in those arms. Find control, ground the feet, lift the chest. Four more here, nice and steady. Maybe starting to go towards the lower back or maybe just keep it small. And lift out of the hips. Try and lift out of those hips. Last three. <sighs> Calm breath. Using the center to come up. Inhale, arms reach to the sides of your room. Past the room. Two, opening up, last one, we hold it there, maybe low back is towards the mat, drawing in as we open those arms and close and inhale and exhale and four more, inhale, keep the chest lifted, exhale, you've got it, rest whenever you need to, inhale exhale let's hold the legs let's draw in through the inner thighs as we come all the way up and sit tall use the legs just to come to that extension again and we come up good let's come down onto our backs so come scooting towards your feet bring the arms out in front if you can it's quite hard you can always hold the mat if you need to and let's roll down bone by bone try and feel like you're in slow motion here feel the opposition feet press down as you roll to your back and we're coming into our bridging section so we did our batman so we're going to do that but in our bridge and then we're going to add the circles again like we did in our on our all fours. So, check in that you're nice and level with that pelvis, nice and neutral. So remember your bridge, we're just straight up, straight down. Breathe out, breathe in. I'm just gonna check that mic there. Breathe out, breathe in. So keeping that cup of tea balanced and dropping down through the pelvis. <sighs> Navel to spine, stand evenly on both feet. You're doing so well. So we're going to keep peaceful as we work strong and powerful. Now we hold it there, we squeeze those hips, we work our glutes, we stand into the left leg as the right leg comes up above the hip. We turn it out within the hip. We breathe out the leg lowers. We breathe in, flex and lift six times. Breathing out, breathing in from that waist, lengthen that hip away, four more. Inhale as it comes towards you. Exhale as it goes away from you. Last two. 
finding that length on the last one, you're gonna see if you can hold it up there. Point the foot and we're gonna do little circles for five, like we did, keep it turned out. Four, from that waist, three, smooth. Don't let the other knee do a circle. Two, one, reverse the circles, five. Navel to spine, four. If you need to lower the hips, that's fine. Three, find the breath, two. Reach the foot to the ceiling, last one. Leg to parallel, bend the knee, place it down. Straight onto the other side if you can. Bear weight into that right foot, float the left leg. Lengthen the low back under, stretch the leg up. Turn the leg out within the hip as it goes down. Exhale, belly button to spine, inhale, five. Opening through that hip, think inner thighs, four. Lengthen the neck, three. Using the rib to hip connection, two. Don't let that back arch. Last one, I know it's tough here. Try not to grip the toes, let's circle point the foot. Five, four, keep it nice and small, three. Two, you might need to hold those hips there, that's fine. One, you can find that stability there. Let's go the other way, five, four, Three, try not to wobble left to right. Two, work through those inner thighs. One, turn your leg to parallel, bend your knee, place your foot down and lower those hips down. Good, we're gonna come into our hip rolls with our leg extension. So arms slide to the side, reaching through like you're trying to touch both sides of the room. Try not to go too high with the arms, just below the shoulders. Level pelvis float right leg. Knit the ribs in, float left leg, press through those arms. You can use them, but no tension. Squeeze your legs together, inner thighs, breathe in as you tip over, left hip lifts, roll onto the right hip. Stretch those legs on that diagonal and come back up on the breath out. Breathe in as you tip the knees to the other side. Breathe out, stretch those legs, draw the waist back. Bring those legs in and up. Really challenging to get those legs out straight. So you're tipping, feel this opposition of the waist going the other way. And then we've got our single leg stretch, our double leg stretch, and then we're gonna add a few things to the end. You're doing so well. Pulling back through that waist. One more to each side. <sighs> Lengthen through the neck. Last one here, ground through the shoulders. Enjoy that twist, but with control. Squeeze those inner thighs to come back. Okay, we're gonna bend those knees. We're gonna nod our chin towards our chest, right knee and left leg away. Give that leg a little hug in, and we breathe in for two, breathe out for two. <sighs> Powerful and calm. <sighs> Keeping that chest lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Let's bring it straight into double leg stretch if you can. If you need to reset, reset. Or reach to those ankles. Breathing in as the arms and legs reach away. Exhale, circle, gather in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle, just four more. Inhale, reach through those arms. Exhale, keep the tips of the shoulders up. Last three. You've got it, last two. Circle, gather in, draw the navel towards the spine. Last one, right leg up, left leg away. Let's come into single straight leg stretch. Little hamstring pull, let other leg touches towards the floor. Open through that hip. Open through that hip, hugging the leg in. Good, maybe hands come behind the head. You've got eight, you've got seven. Oh, my ankles hit each other, six. You've got five, reach into the corners, three, to the tips of the toes, two, and one. Now bring your legs together. We've got this little sequence of circling, so we're gonna go five little circles here. Four, Three, pulling in through the center. Two, you can always bend those knees. Last one, let's go the other way. Five, chest lifted, four. You've got three, keep it small or make it bigger if you can. Two, you've got last one. 
and we'll hug those knees in. We're so nearly there. We've done that lovely mat work. Let's just give those knees a little hug, a little massage through that lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. And then let's just come onto our front. So just turn around from here. We'll come into a little, a little cobra swan. So legs a little bit wider than the hips. Lengthen through your legs. So feel like they're reaching back to the wall behind you. Draw your abdominals in. Try and keep that resistance, that little sense of center. Hands by the side of your head. Collarbone wide. So, they're at, so the forearms are kind of off the mat a little bit maybe. And then brush the nose away as you breathe in. Find that lovely cobra prep. So up and over, lift through the abdominals as you come up, piercing your head to the ceiling. And then try and resist on the way down. Reach through the legs, reach through the spine. Resisting all the way, try and get your abdominals off the mat and lay back down. Two more, that lovely extension. Maybe just keep it small. That's fine to just work through that upper body and come down or come all the way up, lift through the front of the hips, press the mat away, and we come down. As if you're trying to get yourself longer on your mat and more lengthened on your mat. And we'll take one more, brushing the nose. Try not to have those legs just hang in there, really lengthen them, energize them, but keep them on the floor, lift through, ribs to hip, navel to spine, wide shoulders, and coming down, just keep working your upper back and your abdominals as you come down all the way back. Good, bring the legs together, just bring yourself all the way up. And let's just come into our press up, our push up. So we're gonna come to just this lovely flow. So we're gonna come into our plank position. We're gonna lift our hips up and back. And we're gonna walk to those feet. Remember, we're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna roll up to stand and really connect everything that we've found on the mat. Inner thighs, hips center, gazing out in front. Rolling down, up and over, soft knees. Breathing out as we roll down. Walk into your plank position. Nice and stable with the pelvis. We've got five leg raises, leg pull with the right leg. Point the foot. Five, four, three, two, one, tuck the toes under, left leg, five. Squeeze the glutes, hips level, four, three, two, ribs to hip, one, flex, down, lift those hips up as you lengthen your waist. Hold and breathe here. Press the mat away and just walk the hands in with control. Roll up to stand in. Take your time. We'll just reach the hands behind the back. Let's go feet together, heels together, toes apart. And then just reach the shoulders open, lift your chest, little standing extension. Come back up, float the arms around the front, interlace them in front, head down. <sighs> Squeeze those heels. And we'll do that one more time. Hands come behind the back. You reach your knuckles to the floor as you lift your chest, you squeeze your legs together. You open the arms with control, you round through. Finishing in standing, powerful and peaceful and strong. You did so well. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed coming back to a familiar routine with a few little changes. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 20. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.